Hi, I'm Scott Brown with Scott Brown and Associates. Here at my firm, we do specialize and focus a lot on child custody, divorce, and family law. In fact, I'm board certified in family law. Out of all the attorneys in the state of Texas, less than 1% are board certified in family law. So we definitely have the expertise to help serve you. Today, we are gonna answer some questions regarding child custody. So in this topic, we're gonna to cover child custody. Exactly what does child custody mean? Well, custody is a catch-all term that stands for both legal custody and physical custody. A legal custody refers to the authority to make decisions for and about your children, including, for example, decisions about schooling, religion, medical care. A physical custody refers to how you and your spouse will share time with your children. It addresses where the children will live and who will provide care and supervision during specific time periods. Now, how is custody determined in a divorce? Custody can be determined in one of two ways, by mutual agreement or by the court. Now, if the court is making the determination as to who is to get custody, the court is always gonna consider what is in the child's best interest. Now, there are certain factors the court takes into consideration, such as the desires of the child, the emotional and physical needs of the child now and in the future, the emotional and physical dangers to the child now and in the future, the parental abilities of the individual seeking custody, what programs are available to assist these individuals to promote the best interests of the child? What are the plans for the child and by these individuals seeking custody? What about the stability of the home or the proposed placement? This is just a few of the factors the court takes into consideration when legally determining who should have custody of the children. But you can also reach a mutual agreement and come up with your own parenting plan. Now, what is a parenting plan? At a minimum, a parenting plan should address both legal and physical custody. Now, if you're doing it by mutual agreement and you're crafting your plan, it's important to recognize that time sharing and decision making are independent concepts. In other words, parents who share decision making authority equally need not share parenting time equally. You can agree on just about any parenting time arrangement that works for you or your family. Important factors to consider include your children's ages and developmental needs, as well as the practical realities of transportation, work schedules, and living space. Your plan should recognize the importance of having your children spend quality time with both parents. Each parent should have blocks of work time and play time with the children. Now, if you cannot agree or can't hammer out a parenting plan on your own, perhaps before going to trial, you may consider mediation. If mediation fails, then you'll take your custody dispute to court. A litigation is costly and time consuming. It can be emotionally wrenching. And when it's over for all of your money, time and tears, you'll end up with a court imposed parenting plan that you may or may not be happy with. But regardless, make sure that you hire a good attorney that has the experience in this field and knows what they're doing. And here at Scott Brown and Associates, we can certainly take care of that for you. Now, here's another question that comes up a lot in custody cases. What if my ex is a bad influence on the children? Can I keep him or her away from the children? Well, if your issue with your ex involves his or her parenting style, probably not. For example, if you think your ex is a bad influence because he or she feeds the kids fast food and lets them stay up late watching scary movies, you will need to work that out with your ex or just learn to let it go. Courts rarely get involved in deciding who is a good parent, who is a bad parent. If, however, your spouse presents a real danger to your children, then the court may intervene to ensure your children's safety. Even then, supervised visitation may be preferred over no contact at all. Now, here's another question. What could make our marriage work? How can we make our parenting plan work? There is no magic formula for successful cool parenting, but your experience will be improved if you understand and accept two things about parenting plans. First, no matter how, com how complete you think your plan is, it cannot possibly cover every situation that might come up. Kids get older, schedules change, life happens, you will have to be flexible. Second, your parenting plan is an agreement between you and your former spouse. It will only work if you two honor and enforce it. A judge cannot resolve every minor dispute. The court cannot mandate respect, empathy, or common courtesy. Those essential aspects of successful co-parenting have to come from you and your former spouse. If you have any other questions about custody issues, we are here to help. 
Call us at 979-849-8526 to schedule a consultation.